Welcome to Unk Bees. We're making lemon honey barbecue wings once again. Take your favorite barbecue sauce, but I got my Unk Bee sauce. That's my little secret. Put it on a low heat. Take a lemon, cut it in half. And you're going to squeeze that lemon inside that sauce once the sauce gets um, a little bit hot. Before you do all this, we recommend that everybody use our spice blends. Season your meat overnight so that you can have it penetrating through the meat just like this. Don't that look good? But it's going to look so much better whenever we cook it up. Take a half a cup of panko chips, two cups of flour, one quarter cup of the Texas steak seasoning. And you're going to blend it all together in, either in a bag or bowl or do it how you want to do it. Take two eggs, leave the yolks in it, want the whole eggs. Add the spicy in it, and the reason why we're gonna add the spicy is when we add this chicken into the egg batter, some of that seasoning is gonna get off of it, so that seasoning inside the spicy is gonna help that out just a little bit. You see it's trying to bubble up a little bit, so just go ahead and squeeze that lemon in it. Now if you get some of the lemon seeds in it, just take them out. And I like to use raw honey, all natural honey, and I just squeeze in quite a bit of it inside this as well. Probably want to put about a uh, one third of a cup in it. I like to use a spatula because I don't like my edges getting hard, so I like to screw right on back in. I'll tell you what, this show is smelling good already. Next, cut your wings and separate them. You want the drumlet, you want the wing, and you take this piece, if you want to cook it, eat it, if not, just throw it away. Now once the sauce gets the temperature, go ahead and cut the fire off because you don't need it to be so hot. Just let it cool down just a little bit until all the chicken gets ready. Okay, I got my chicken. Put about maybe four pieces inside here. I'm gonna lock this bag up and shake them all up. Next, make sure you drip off the excess egg and throw them inside the flour. And then once you shake them up, shake off the excess and boom. I like to use my tray so I don't make a mess. If they're all breaded, just put them in the fryer. Leave it in for about eight to ten minutes. This is one of my tricks. When these things start floating, guess what? They're done. Really that simple. Take them all out. No chicken left behind. In the meantime, cook the rest of them. And look how crispy those look. Oh my God. But we about to put the sauce on those. Once the chicken is rested, go ahead and just add them. Just go ahead and toss them inside the sauce. I mean, I would use a bowl, but I prefer to keep them inside my container here. After that, just drizzle the remaining off of it and stick it right back on the tray. Continue the process. Once they're all done, you can make you some sides, like some fries, some onion rings, some celery sticks maybe some carrots or something just enjoy this good cooking and eating experience because you already know i'm about to enjoy this wonderful meal that he's just made because guess what mm -hmm. with ranch blue cheese or whatever I'll give you this recipe if you like it.
Good cooking and eating, y'all.